Hi everyone, I am going to discuss other ways to say agree and disagree. What we usually do is when we agree with the thing, we say I agree or we say I firmly agree or otherwise we say that I agree to large extent. And for disagreement, what we do? I firmly disagree. Yeah, fir hai, I disagree to large extent. Fine. But that is so common these days that whenever we are writing essay, jab bhi hum essay likhte hain, to we cannot repeat that I agree, I disagree, I agree, I disagree, I firmly agree, I firmly agree, I disagree. Matab, wo cheez bar bar wohi cheez repeatedly nahi kari jati. So the thing which I am going to discuss today that would be beneficial for your speaking as well as for your writing. So let's start with the thing. Alright. So there are different ways to say I agree and I disagree. So I am going to start up with I agree. So let's start with it. The first is that we are of one mind. This, agar mujhe kuch question poochha jata hai about community, society, people's opinion ke baare mein, there when I need to say ki that society or the people, they agree. So we can say instead of that society agrees upon that, instead of that we can say that we are of one mind that the community, they all agree upon the thing and for that we can use another part also that our thoughts are parallel, our thoughts are parallel means ki hamare jo thoughts hain they are parallel that means same thing that we all agree with the same thing fine so let's start with the thing when they'll be asking about our opinion matlab ki hamare opinion ke baare mein what is my opinion that whether i agree or disagree for that i can say that when i need to say the uh, other person that uh, i agree with you so there i can say that you are so right that instead of that whatever you are saying that is correct I can say that you are so right and the next is I have the same idea so this can be same like I agree to uske liye I had the same idea mera bhi whatever the thought they are asking about so I have the same idea I can give the uh, example over here is like pocket money should be given to children so here I say that uh, I agree Haan, deni chahiye ko pocket money. there I can start up like I have the that same idea and other way to say is I would go along with go along with that uh, children should get pocket money fine so instead of writing that I agree that children should get pocket money I can say that I would go along with that another is I see what you mean I see what you mean is again I agree whatever is being asked to me I totally or I agree with whatever is being asked so another one is that's exactly what I was thinking so when somebody is asking me the thing what is there in my mind what is going on in my mind so there I can say that that's exactly what I was thinking and for this also we can say that ki yaha pe hai, you have hit the nail on the head this would be same like that yaha pe wo rahega, that something is going on in my mind and the other person and they ask that thing to me only for that I can say that that was there in my mind and somehow they picked it up and they asked me there I can use this thing that that's exactly what I was thinking and you can write you have hit the nail on the head means mm -hmm. that somewhere something was going on in my mind and the other person they picked up that thing and they asked me that or they covered it up and other way is that's exactly how I feel again this would be that whatever they are asking us this is what my opinion would be that I'm totally agreeing with the thing that whatever is being asked there I exactly feel the same then I think you are totally right instead of saying that you are right you are right so right? this way we can say that I think you are right why I'm giving you all these sentences these sentences will help you out to cover up your pauses as well help in your improving 
your fluency in speaking part these opening sentences will help you in your writing as well as your speaking part so another way is i could not agree with you more i could not agree with you more matlab whatever is being asked and i'm totally agreeing with that to uske sath mere paas uske upar kuch na sehmat hone ka way hi nahi bachta hai so there i can say that i could not agree with you more isse zyada main aur iske sath agree ye disagreement kuch de hi nahi sakti hu then you took the words right out of my mouth ye cheez this thing i can use for my speaking like you took i was about to say something and this will be same like that you hit the nail on the head head that's exactly what i was thinking matlab ye wahi cheez hai ki i was supposed to say something but the other person they took a, a words out of my mouth that will help in improving my fluency my um, words as well as my uh, opening lines will help me in working as an possibler because i i need to think instead of like i agree uh, i instead of taking long pauses i can use up these lines to show my agreement all right so these are the lines for showing our agreement let's go with the disagreement part when i disagree with something and i cannot answer that bluntly that i don't like it or i cannot say that <clears throat> i don't agree with that there what i can say is i'll be telling you that so here are the sentences like i don't think that's quite right instead of bluntly saying that that's not right there i need to be polite with when i'm writing down essay or any task over there whenever i'm giving uh, my speaking or whenever i'm talking i cannot answer bluntly there i need to be polite with my words so here i'm giving you the right way to start up uh, to show my disagreement i can say that i don't think that quite that's quite right so that means ki whatever is being asked so i don't agree with that another is i must take issue with you on that i must take issue um, i must take issue with you on that means ki you are having some doubt you disagree with the thing whatever is being asked so for that you can say this one and another is i agree up to a point but matlab iska hai there will be like when you are saying this thing that means that you are disagreeing to some extent there will be a part of agreement as well when you need to show your partial uh, kind of a answer there you can say that i agree up to a point kisi had tak main is cheez ke sath sehmat ya na sehmat hu theek hai another i'm afraid that is not quite true to mujhe lagta hai again mujhe ye nahi bolna hai ki ye sahi nahi hai that's not true wo to ekdam se blunt answer jayega na so for that i can say that or i can write it down like that that i'm afraid that it is quite it is not quite true fine i take a different view matlab i take a different view means again i disagree meri jo soch hai ya mera jo point of view hai that is bit different another is i think otherwise again one and the same thing ye wahi rahega ki mera jo hai sochna hai jo meri soch hai wo thodi alag hai another one is i beg to differ this will be the old school of thought matlab kya tha ye i beg to differ means yahan pe wo cheez rehti hai ki i beg to say that hum log schools mein when we used to write down applications and all there we used to write down i beg to differ matlab i beg to differ wahi rahega ki main thoda sa mera opinion jo hai wo us cheez se alag rahega so there i can use this one because this is being not used Uh, nowadays but we can use now days this one because this will be surely helpful and this is one of the easy lines which i'm giving you and there you will not feel like ki ye this is bit difficult to learn whenever you will be reading it out it will help you to improve your fluency as well as your writing all right so i can't share the this view i can't share this view means ki meri jo soch hai wo वैसी नहीं है जो क्वेश्चन है लाइक पॉकेट मनी शुड बी गिवन टू चिल्ड्रन सो डू यू एग्री दिस एग्री सो देयर आई कैन से दैट मुझे लगता है कि बच्चों को पॉकेट मनी नहीं देनी चाहिए देयर आई कैन से दैट आई कॉन्ट शेयर दिस व्यू ये जो चीज़ है वो मेरा ओपिनियन नहीं है मैं उस चीज़ के साथ सहमत नहीं हूँ नदर वन इज आई वुड बी इंक्लाइंड टू डिसग्री मतलब मैं 
डिसग्रीमेंट की तरफ ज़्यादा मेरा झुकाव है मतलब कि मैं जो डिसग्री लार्ज एक्सटेंड तक करती हूँ मतलब मेरा जो ओपिनियन है दैट वुड बी टुवर्ड्स दी डिसग्रीमेंट नदर इज आई कुड नॉट एग्री विद यू लेस सेम लाइक दैट जैसे था आई कुड नॉट एग्री विद यू मोर मतलब कि इससे ज़्यादा मैं कैसे आपके साथ सहमत रहूँ और वही यहाँ पे आया आई कुड नॉट एग्री विद यू लेस इससे ज़्यादा मैं और आपके साथ डिसग्रीमेंट नहीं कर पाऊँगी मैं बता नहीं पाऊँगी नदर इज आई एम अफ्रेड आई डिसग्री अब वही अनदर वे इम्प्रेसिव कि मुझे लगता है कि मैं इस चीज़ से सहमत नहीं हूँ तो मैं मैं इस चीज़ से सहमत नहीं हूँ एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट मुझे लगता है कि मुझे डर है कि मैं इस चीज़ के साथ सहमत नहीं हूँ सो दिस विल बी मच मोर बेटर एंड लास्ट वन इज आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दैट आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दैट मीन्स कि मुझे मेरा पहलू पता है कि मैं श्योर हूँ मतलब मैं डिसग्रीमेंट कर रही हूँ शो कर रही हूँ बट मुझे अदर्स का ओपिनियन जो है उसके बारे में मैं श्योर नहीं हूँ फॉर दैट आई कैन से आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट दैट सो दीज आर द लाइन्स विच वी कैन यूज to make our impressive writing as well as speaking i think this would be much more helpful to you all guys thank you very much guys for watching my video keep supporting thank you very much